What hidden curriculum means to me is just all the stuff that you don't really notice that you're learning. And it says it in the name and it kind of doesn't. You don't really know what it is before you start it, but it's the things you're kind of being taught, the things you're experiencing, the things you're kind of put through in your training uh, that aren't really discussed and aren't really tested on shelves, written tests, anything. The differences that we see uh, and experience between what we're taught that we're supposed to do and then what we actually see being done in clinical practice. Hidden curriculum refers to what we learn about medicine that's not found in textbooks or on shelf review questions. Um, it teaches us about our profession, the emotional impact of this profession on us, and how we view patients. Part of that hidden curriculum that we all hear about is learning things that we wish medicine wasn't teaching us. Seeing people cut corners or demean patients or treat you like an unwanted burden you're gonna run into these dumb rules and these toxic hierarchies and systems that just don't seem to work. And there are gonna be people along this journey who don't remember what it was like to be you. A lot of moments in third year where you're going to struggle, you're gonna feel dumb sometimes, and you'll be tired a lot. Uh, you're gonna have patients that have bad outcomes. While each one of your experiences will be unique, you'll see that there are a lot of common themes that run throughout all of our experiences. From the best days, the worst days, to thoughts of, I can't do this, or I don't know what I'm doing, to thoughts of, I got this. Be a very shiny, perfect version of yourself at all times, and constantly impress people on an interpersonal level, which is really strange because you come from being tested just for what you know, where all of a sudden it's not just what you know, it's who you are, and that can get really, really stressful. Because you finally get to start carving out your own um, little spot in medicine, and you get to start practicing and seeing um, what your future identity as a provider is going to be like, which is amazing. There's so many incredible moments in third year, like meeting truly phenomenal residents or caring for just the most inspiring patients. Because you can choose which kind of doctor you want to become and which habits to pick up, which attitudes to hold. There are going to be these moments of supreme clarity where you think, I'm not going to be like that. I found a lot of comfort in hidden curriculum. It was kind of the one thing that was constant among a lot of changing rotations and people. And... Nobody, it feels like, remembers what it's like to be a third year medical student, kind of figuring things out and being exposed to so many different things. I think that yeah, it is a great time to uh, kind of get in touch with your vulnerability. Because I hit the curriculum hearing about um, our, our attending leaders of the group, hearing about their anxieties and vulnerabilities too, because I think especially um, at the attending level in the clinic, there's always this image of like, they're the ones in charge and often I don't hear them uh, be vulnerable. And if you have a great um, family and support or friends and family support system outside of medicine, sometimes it's really hard to be able to discuss and talk about um, what you're going through day to day with them because they can be there for you. Um, but Sometimes, unless you've really been through that exact moment or been through those experiences, um, it's really hard to relate. Uh, it's also been a really helpful place for me. Um, throughout third year, I was still kind of deciding on what specialty I wanted to do and trying to make this huge career choice for, you know, the rest of my life. And it was really helpful to kind of talk about those um, challenges with peers and then also uh, be able to get a lot of input from the faculty advisors that we worked with. Um, they obviously have been through this just as well as we have and so it's really nice to get their perspective on uh, kind of what things they value in their careers and what things we um, maybe aren't thinking about at this stage that we may value later. So, um, the most helpful part of Hidden Curriculum for me was actually being forced to slow down and reflect on all the craziness that third year was and how it's changing us, how it's really shaping the kind of doctors that we'll be. And it's really great to be able to celebrate those little wins uh, in a space of people that also 
understand that they are big wins. <laughs> and curriculum is all about you. Uh, this is Salida, my puppy. 